you so much for watching our videos and uh, hope it is helpful for your study uh, so moving on to the next level of nlp it's semantic analysis okay uh, in the previous videos i have explained lexical analysis and syntactic analysis uh, if you have if you are not watched that video uh, please go back and watch the videos so that um, it will be helpful for you to understand so the next level of representation is nothing but it's um, semantic analysis that is it's a next level uh, of nlp so semantic analysis means it's nothing but it is uh, related to meaning okay uh, so it is associated with the meaning of knowledge so as i said it is related to it is associated with the meaning okay it is associated with the uh, meaning of the knowledge and goal of the semantic analysis is to create the meaningful representation here the main goal is to create the meaningful representation because semantic analysis is uh, something related to the meaning okay so uh, here the goal is to create the meaningful uh, representation of meaningful sentences okay uh, general idea here is uh, take the natural language uh, sentences and map it to some representation of meaning here the general idea is that we have to take uh, some natural language sentence and we have to map it uh, to the some representation of meaning which is having uh, the meaning so we have to map it okay uh, this is the general idea uh, defining the meaning of the sentence is difficult even though it is grammatically correct sentence okay uh, here yeah uh, defining the meaning of the sentence <coughs> the meaning of the sentence is very difficult to find even though if it is grammatically correct so to understand this sentence uh, let us consider one example that is rama is great here we will be having uh, some confusion in this uh, uh, sentence or in this example even though it is grammatically correct it's not wrong because rama is great it's grammatically correct it's a sentence yes uh, we don't have any error in this uh, uh, sentence but the confusion here is whether it is valid uh, it's valid grammatically yes and uh, the confusion here is or confusion in the sense we can interpret this sentence in two ways that is uh, rama is great means rama is a person or uh, he is uh, some boy uh, who is very great or in the second interpretation uh, we can say um, whether rama is the person or lord rama who is a god god rama so this is the uh, confusion that we are having so this is c whether uh, it's lord rama or a person with the name rama this is the confusion that we are having the with the rama the word rama uh, is uh, uh, having some ambiguous meaning because we are having some confusion right this is what uh, the uh, semantic analysis means it is something related to the meaning and uh, considering the next example colorless green ideas sleep furiously this is the example uh, which is taken from the textbook uh, you, you can write this example uh, so that it will add uh, an extra value to your answer uh, so it is yes this in this example also it is syntactically correct because it's a meaningful sentence it is syntactically correct but um, the order uh, what it is uh, represented order is correct and uh, grammatically also it is correct but uh, the meaning here is confusing because uh, it's having uh, two interpretations so this is also uh, one of the example and uh, consider again uh, one more example that is karan and ayan are married and the second example is karan and suha are married here uh, the, uh, consider the second uh, example that is uh, karan and suha uh, karan and suha are married here um, uh, this can be interpreted interpreted as karan and suha both are married to each other so karan is husband of suha or uh, suha she is a wife okay uh, we can interpret like this but uh, if we apply this interpretation to the first sentence that is karan and ayan are married this is not valid because karan is also boy uh, and uh, ayan is also boy uh, we cannot uh, interpret uh, as like a second sentence that is karan and ayan both are married to each other it's impossible uh, it's not valid sentence uh, even though it is grammatically correct we have confusion um, so the first uh, sentence can be interpreted as karan and ayan are married karan is married to um, the separate woman and uh, ayan is married to the another other woman another woman okay uh, so this is interpreted like this and uh, the second uh, interpretation as i said um, it is uh, they both are married to each other but this the, the same interpretation